hi everyone okay let's provide the solution here we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x equals 39 now we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 here is 2 to the power of 2 right then there is power of x out there plus 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and there is power of x outside this is equal to 39 okay now let us rearrange so we have 2 to the power of x plus from here i don't want to open the bracket i would rather change the position of the powers so right we have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 then plus here again i'll have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 and this is equal to 39 now the reason I did this is for me to have 2 to the power of x in these three terms. So we can now have a letter to represent 2 to the power of x. So we can say that let 2 to the power of x be equal to y. So here now we're having y plus here we have y to the power of 2 plus here we have y to the power of 3 to be equal to 39. Now what again should we do? We are going to express this in this form. Okay, now y plus y to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to I can write 39 as 27 right okay we have 27 then plus okay plus 9 plus 3 okay and if you want to write this in this form this could have been y plus y squared plus y cube equals let's start from the smallest because y is standing in okay for three now so we write three plus nine plus twenty seven right now this means that we have y plus y squared plus y cube equals three plus 3 squared plus 3 cube if you look at the left hand side and the right hand side you see that we they are now in the same form so y minus 3 will be together this and this then plus we have this one y squared minus 3 squared then here we have plus y cube minus 3 cube right and this is equal to 0 because we have brought everything to the left here we have difference of two squares recall that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared difference of two cubes right so I'm going to write this first we have y minus 3 plus here we have difference of two squares which will be y minus 3 into y plus 3 difference of two squares then I go over to that plus a minus b will now be y minus 3 then into a squared is y squared plus a b that will be y times 3 and it's 3y 
then plus b squared which is 3 squared and it's 9 close this and equate to 0 right now to continue with this we discover that this term is common to this and common to this right this is a common term since it belongs to the three terms so y minus 3 comes out as the common factor so I'm going to open this here divide this by this you're going to have 1 plus divide the whole of this by this you have y plus 3 right okay there's no need for the bracket again if you want then plus divide the whole of this by this you're going to have this y squared plus 3y plus 9 and this is equal to 0 y minus 3 is still the common factor then here we let's begin with this y squared right y squared then 3y plus y that will give us plus 4y right then we have 9 plus okay um 1 plus 3 that is 4 4 plus 9 that is 13 right we close this and equate to 0 and now we are multiplying this and this to get 0 right remember the question says we should get only the real solution right so from here now we have y minus 3 to be 0 or y squared plus 4y minus 13 equals 0. From here, our y is equal to 3 because 0 plus 3 is 3. This is one of the solutions. Now let's pick this out and see if we are going to have a real solution from here. And by the way, this is plus 13, not minus 13. Right? Let's continue. Okay, so our y is already 3 here, but from here, let's use the formula for this. y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We want to check whether this will give us a real solution. y now is equal to our minus b becomes minus 4 plus or minus because b is 4. A is 1, C is 13, into 4 squared, because B is 4, minus 4 times 1, because A is 1, then times 13. The whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1. Now, if you proceed from here, Y will be minus 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 13 is 52. Now, we are going to have negative here. We divide by 2. We are going to have negative root here. So that means that this will not give us a real solution. So whatever that we have from here has to be rejected, right? Has to be rejected. Okay, has to be rejected. Now, let's go back to what we got for y before we got y to be equal to 3. And remember when we say that our y is equal to 2 to the power of x. If you can recall that, we said that, right? So now, we will now come back and say, in place of this y, put your 3. So that means that 2 to the power of x is equal to y which is 3 then to get the value of x take the log of both sides so that we'll have log 2 to the power of x equals log 3 and then x log 2 is equal to log 3 since the power the power goes behind divide this by log 2 divide by log of 2 so that this can go and then our x is equal to log 3 divided by log 2 if you apply change of base 
then x will be equal to log 3 and these two here becomes the base so this is the value of x that satisfies the equation